welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing a diamond painting kit where the canvas is actually already framed before you open the box. And this is from Diamond Art DK. So this is uh, something different for me. Uh, normally when I get a diamond painting it's either in a rectangular box in a cardboard tube or uh, just in a bubble wrap uh, envelope. This time uh, it comes in a proper box and the reason for that is because the canvas is already mounted onto a wooden frame. Something that I've never seen before. Um, this one happened to appear as an advert on Facebook and that's how I found out about it and I noticed it was a Danish company um, Diamond Art DK uh, DK is the symbol for Denmark so um, I thought yep I have to have to try this and uh, see how it works what it looks like um, and it's a new company so I'm always interested in uh, trying out different companies so it comes in um, paper, it's wrapped in heavy duty brown paper and pretty well taped up um, it feels like a pretty solid box it doesn't have any dings, bangs, dents, anything I ordered this on March the 22nd and it arrived on March the 23rd so one day um, I don't think I'm ever going to beat that so extremely fast delivery time um, it has an advantage that I live in Denmark though so um, I think we'll just uh, open it so as I said it's just paper so I'm thinking rather than trying to get through the tape I'll just go through the paper just get a start with it Here it goes. So this is the back of the box. So you can see, um, first time I've seen anything like this, um, it has English, German, Spanish, Italian, and French. So they have a YouTube scan code, um, so you can go on YouTube and check out the company that actually manufactures them. Um, and then we have the normal warning choking hazard uh, we have a video guide and gift box owner's manual and video guide included diamond painting kit is packed in a comfortable gift box with a handle it's different canvas the main part of the set is a canvas stretched over a wooden frame the diamonds should be applied on the different numbers and symbols that are printed on the canvas the canvas comes with a special adhesive layer and is covered with a protective film. Tools, plastic pen tool, tweezers, sorting tray, wax pad, ziplock bags. Diamonds, round uh, diamond like stones are divided into the numbered bags. The number on the bag corresponds to the symbols and numbers on the canvas. Acrylic crystals might, might be with sparkling or with large elements. Ah, okay, so sometimes, uh, depending on the image, sometimes it may be an image that uses special drills, um, the, the big uh, unusual shaped ones, um, but this one is round drills. 
Uh, oh, actually, I'm just looking at the bottom here. It's in uh, a lot more than those languages. Manual and video tutorial available in your language. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's not including these. So, fifteen languages. Uh, hopefully you understand at least one of them. So we can see a picture here, um, the woman's got it set up on an easel and it looks like the canvas is, is wrapped around the wooden frame. But we shall find out. So have a look at the, the front. So very clear thumbnail, huge thumbnail. So this is the, the picture that I ordered and um, it was called Autumn Forest Path Complexity Level 4 out of 5 32 colours 50 by 40 Full drill Canvas stretched on an inner wooden frame and round drills Sventnoy uh, I don't know if I'm even saying that right uh, The World of Bright Ideas This actually is a bright idea uh, round drill diamonds, multilingual guide, high quality materials, pre-stretched canvas. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, packaging is excellent, very good. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to open this part. Ah, right, okay, this is the box with the handle. So it even has a handle. I'm, I'm already thinking this would be an excellent idea if you know somebody who might be interested in diamond painting um, as a, a birthday present or forget that I think use a sharp knife if we can find it um, as a birthday present or uh, a Christmas present something like that I like the packaging I think it is really nice and the fact it comes with a handle, just a uh, nice little touch, as I said, for a gift. Why is opening packaging never easy? So now uh, we will open it up, if I can figure it out to Ok, there we go. Nothing else in the box. Um, this is the right way up. So this is the multilingual guide that we've got. Be a bit more careful with this. I don't want to scratch anything. Right, I'll turn it over just before I take the full packaging off. Just to let you see what's in the back because I could feel it. So we've got in the back um, we've got the key. Uh, we've got drills and we've got labels, numbered labels and we've got the kit, uh, the tool bag, goodie bag what you want to call it and we have the little hangers um, for the picture frame um, so you can hang it up in the wall so Take it out of that, I think. Do anything else? It's uh, a pretty solid frame. You can see it's pretty wide. It's not a little flimsy thing. It feels very solid, and it has uh, some kind of thin sheet of hardboard um, behind the canvas as well, which means you won't be able to use a light pad. 
I have never done a diamond painting with a light pad, so this will be the first. So the manual, I mean, this is excellent quality. Um, no little flimsy piece of paper here. This is a proper booklet. Um, all nice and glossy. Um, I'm just having a very quick skim, but it looks as if the English actually is English. Um, it's notorious with diamond paintings that you get instructions that are um, obviously Google translated and a lot of times it don't make sense, but um, yeah, I'm not going to read all this, but uh, it is, it's, it's very good. Um, tells you all the bits and pieces, you can see a tutorial video um, on how to diamond paint, uh, which is good. Uh, rather than just having these little pictures, you can actually sit and watch a video, which I would always recommend people do. Watch a video, um, it makes more sense when you watch somebody doing it, rather than reading things where you maybe don't know, understand the terminology, what they're talking about. Um, watching a video is just so much better. So, we have it in various languages, very, very good quality book. Very impressed actually, the whole thing, the packaging is really good. Um, got the key. Uh, you're not going to have any problems reading that, nice big print. Um, it's not just a, a sheet of A4, it's semi-glossy. Um, Decent sized thumbnail, but again, you would you do not want this to touch the glue on your canvas because it will stick and it will destroy it um, when you try and get it off. So they have the DMC numbers, uh, which is good, and then the symbols, very very easy to read. So that's a, a good one that one. Um, let's run through the bag. Okay. We have standard um, pink pen, single placer. So nothing, nothing spectacular about that. It's just a standard diamond painting pen, like most companies. And um, we have, oops, diamond painting tray. Again, pretty standard. It's slightly better than the green ones. Um, it has the little spout on the end. It makes it easier to pour drills out. Uh, it has the angled sides that I don't like because um, I've said this in so many videos, but I'm always aware that somebody might be watching me for the first time. So um, because it has the angled sides, um, if you accidentally tap that and you've got your drills in there and you maybe hit it with your hand, the drills um, will fall out, land on your glue, land on the floor, whatever. Um, it is annoying. Um, you will learn not to touch the side. Um, I think everybody has done it at some point. If the edges are straight up and down, they aren't quite as unbalanced. Uh, so you get away with it. You can actually um, sit your hand on the edge with the straight ones. So standard uh, tray, but they actually have the logo on the back, which is pretty cool. Um, nice bright logo. I like bright colours. So yeah. Don't think I've actually seen a logo on the bottom of a diamond paint tray before. I'm trying to think about it, but I don't think I have. Uh, it's quite a good idea. So tray, pretty standard. Slightly better than the green tray that we sometimes get. Then we get a decent sized piece of pink wax. Again, pretty standard. Then we get plastic tweezers, uh, which you can't see because they're black. So if I move this down a bit, black. Um, I have one other set of black plastic tweezers, and I found them to be an absolute nightmare to use. Um, they just are not, in my opinion, they just are not as good as metal ones. Um, they're just too flimsy and I really struggle to get them to work. So, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I would have to say that that's, that's a down for me. Um, 
I really don't like the plastic tweezers. Apart from that, um, everything else is fine. And we also get a few baggies. Uh, I always count these. It varies quite a lot. I think uh, the last one I opened, we got five, which is probably the least I've had. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 baggies to put your spare drills in or something. I've never figured out why we get these bags. There's never enough um, for all of the colors in your diamond painting. So once you've opened these bags, um, you don't have resealable bags to put the drills in. So I've, I've never seen the, the point of these things. Um, but that's that. So, First time ever in a diamond painting. Hangers. Do you have to fit yourself? Um, I'm just looking to see if they've got a mark where you screw them in, and I don't see one. So you're going to have to measure that yourself. And they don't give you a wire or a string, so you're going to have to get that yourself as well. So you decide where the screws go and where you're going to hang it. Um, it would be above the centre, I would think, because you want the picture to go like the weight of the picture below um, the screws. If you did it in the middle, the picture might rock back and forward, I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, that's it. Look, two little brackets. And then we have the drills round drills in this kit. I think I'll actually turn it around because looking against the black background it's kind of hard to see. Um, we're going to actually have a look. So there you go. It's poured glue, I take it, yeah. So poured glue, um, no bumps or anything, I can see a couple of ripples but that is actually just the protective sheet, it isn't the, the actual canvas. The canvas is um, very flat, very smooth. As I said, there's a piece of board behind this so you are not going to be able to use a light pad. Um, I have never done a diamond painting without a light pad so this will be an experience for me. Um, I think the image looks really good. Um, like all diamond paintings, once the drills are on, it will look much brighter than it does, but it still gives a, a good idea of what it's going to look like. So, autumnal uh, forest path, it's called, and this is a, the footpath. And this is the autumnal on the leaves. So, have a look at the drills, uh, round drills this time. Uh, one thing is you can't choose different sizes with these kits. They have a lot of them um, that are pre-framed, um, but they are predetermined. The size is set, so you can't order a bigger one or a smaller one. And uh, the drill type is preset as well. Some are round, some are square. Uh, you can't choose. It's just whatever comes with that particular picture. Just looking there, I just noticed that the key that we get doesn't tell you how many colours. Oh, it does. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, A1 to A32. I'm used to it just being a number without the A in front, so uh, 32 colours in this one. And you get labels. It looks like we got to 40. So you can label, uh, if you have containers, you can label them with numbers, they're already pre-printed for you. So that could be handy. Um, I'll look at the drills. Just having a, a close-up look. So they have uh, the company name. 
so it's fit now I think um, just looking at the drills to see what they're like uh, they all look fine they're all free moving uh, they're not stuck in the bag or clumped or anything like that a few black it's actually uh, a lot of bright colours in this one uh, got that sort of lilac um, and then we've got a darker purple got red, greens, another purple reds, yellows, blues, purples, oranges, grey, pink this is actually going to be a very bright diamond painting so they have uh, the DMC code on the bag and for people who are new uh, maybe haven't even uh, bought a diamond painting yet and are thinking about it these DMC codes that I'm talking about um, are set numbers for set colours so 310, if you see 310 DMC code it's always black um, so every colour has a specific DMC number so if you had another kit from another company and it had DMC code 996 it would be this colour if I had 3325 it would be this colour so it's a standard way to number colours instead of having light pink darker pink dark pink um, they have a number so it's good to have that because when you finish you will have spare drills at the end you can keep them, put them in a bag, label them with the DMC code and then if you happen to be working on a diamond painting with round drills in the future and you run out of 973 you, you will have a bag where you've stuck a label on it saying 973 and you can use these drills so it's, it's a good idea um, to keep the spares just in case you have problems in the future and you're maybe missing just two or three drills you can use the spares from a previous kit so not resealable bags but they are a decent size so you could work from these bags just cut the top off and pour out the drills you need pour them back in with the, uh, the tray that you get fold it over, a little piece of tape and then you've got the DMC code on the bag you could, uh, you could work like that, it's definitely doable so not too bad, not too bad at all now we'll have a closer look at the canvas uh, just having a look at how they've actually done it so they've basically they've got um, the picture and then they've folded the canvas around the frame so you can see they've actually got um, the key on the canvas is on the back um, which actually could be very handy if you put this up and a drill falls off at some point you will see the symbol so all you need to do is take the picture off the wall turn it around look for the symbol and you'll see um, which number it was it doesn't have the DMC which would actually be better so you would need to keep you need to keep this so you know which DMC code because if you just see A1 it doesn't mean anything but DMC code 166 does so you would need to keep this sheet as well but it's still handy to have the key on the back of the picture frame then you don't have to go looking for it um, As I said, it's poured glue, uh, well, I was going to say about the canvas, it's uh, big staples, quite a few staples, so it's not going to come off, I mean just in this bottom row, well top row will be, but there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 staples just along the top, so uh, well stapled, it's not just one in each corner and one in the middle sort of thing so it'll keep it nice and taut and it is perfectly flat and because it's on top of a board um, you can press on it and it's not going to sink or anything 
but the disadvantage as I said is you cannot use a light pad because the light won't shine through because there was a board underneath the canvas. After saying that, <coughs> the label, eh, the labels, um, the symbols are very clear. You won't have any problems reading them. Very, very clear. So. Yeah, so basically the frame is, or what looks like the frame around the edge is just printed. It's not like uh, plastic or something like that. It's just canvas, which keeps the whole thing flat. Um, over, overall with the whole thing, apart from the plastic tweezers, um, I'm very impressed with this. I think if somebody was thinking about taking up diamond painting, and they got this as a gift, I think they would be very happy. Uh, they don't have to worry about how to frame their diamond painting. They just basically put the drills on the canvas and it's finished. Simple as that. So, as I said, I had never seen uh, anything like this before and it just happened to come up on a Facebook advert. I, re I realised the company was Danish. Um, <clears throat> which is quite nice. It's nice to see that uh, Denmark is uh, starting to, to sell uh, diamond paintings. Uh, when I first started, I couldn't find anything um, in Denmark. Um, I have done a review previously of another Danish company, uh, and I know there is another Danish company, so um, hopefully it's becoming a, a popular hobby in Denmark, and it means that I will be able to get stuff delivered within a day. So that was uh, Autumn Forest Path from Diamond Art DK, uh, a Danish website. Um, as I said, uh, it came up as just a totally random advert on Facebook and I saw that the, the canvas was already framed and I thought I haven't seen anything like that or I, I haven't uh, ordered anything like that uh, before. So. Um, of course I ordered it, uh, it came here in a day, which was excellent. Um, the whole thing is really, really good uh, quality. Um, I'm actually quite surprised how good it is. The only downside for me is the tweezers, plastic tweezers. Um, and thinking about it, it's round drills. Uh, I think I might actually try uh, um, I switched over uh, from diamond painting pens um, a few months ago and I use tweezers all the time for square and round but I don't use plastic tweezers so I'm thinking I am very used to using tweezers now I'm going to give it a try uh, with the plastic tweezers um, and see how I got on and I'll, uh, I'll mention it in a future video so apart from the tweezers Everything else is really, really good. The canvas is perfectly flat on that board, so no worries or problems about wrinkles, creases, lumps and bumps, anything like that. And it means that you can work on it without worrying about pressing too hard and the canvas starting to get slack or anything. It means you could also sit it in your lap just thinking about it because it's a hard surface. You could sit it like a tray in your lap and sit in diamond paint. Um, this one, I forgot to mention the size, is a 50 by 40, so it's 50 centimetres across, 40 centimetres down. Um, they have uh, diamond paintings of various sizes. Some are uh, round drills, some are square drills. Um, but as I said, you can't um, choose a different size. It's only the size that they make it in. Um, and I have spoke about that before, I actually quite like that because it takes the guesswork out. Sometimes when you go to order a diamond painting, you can see it's in eight different sizes. And most people know that the smallest size usually isn't worth the money because the, it, it doesn't come out very clear. And um, sometimes you, you can't even make it what the picture is, depending on how detailed the picture is. Um, so you would normally sort of aim for middle-ish size at least to get something half decent. If you want something really good, um, you would go for the largest size. But that is more expensive. 
So it's it's a bit of a balance and it is guesswork because it depends on the picture. If the picture is big solid pieces of bright colours like um, like a cartoon or something like that, it will look better than something that has very fine lines and uh, like wispy smoke and um, very fine detail. Uh, it's it's really hard to get fine detail in a small picture. So with these, you don't have to think about that. You just look, you see a picture you like, and that's that's what you order. Um, you can be pretty confident that it's going to look okay um, because they they wouldn't make it if it looked really bad because nobody would want to buy any more of them. Simple as that. So um, fifty by forty. Um, a reasonable size. Um, the drills look fine, but as I said, um, trying to pick those drills up, those round drills up with plastic tweezers, um, I, th I think that could put people off diamond painting. Um, so if you if you do get one with the plastic tweezers, um, I would suggest that you use the pen. Um, most people do use the pen anyway, but um, it's definitely not going to be your, your best experience with tweezers, with round drills and plastic tweezers. So uh, just use the pen. So apart from that, apart from tweezers, um, very, very good. I mean, the, the booklet is a professional booklet. It's it's glossy print. It's quite thick. It's not just uh, an A4 folded. Um, really, really good quality. It was it said some like 10 different languages it comes in. Um, and they give you a link um, to um, a video. You can go on YouTube and watch their video on how to diamond paint. Fantastic idea. Um, so, as I said, for somebody who's maybe got a friend or a, a relative who has seen you diamond paint and they're thinking that maybe they would try it, I think this would be the perfect gift for them. Everything is there. It's already framed. All they have to do is put the drills on the canvas and, and that's it. Um, okay, they have to put a couple of screws in the frame and get a bit of string or wire or whatever to hang it. But that's a lot easier than uh, the sort of normal ones um, that come with nothing. And uh, they come rolled up, sometimes folded. <clears throat> and then you have to flatten the canvas and all that stuff before you even start. This is just ready. You could just take that out, sit it in your lap and start diamond painting straight away. Really, really good idea. Um, I really like it. Uh, I think it is a good way to get more people interested in diamond painting. So that's it for today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And uh, you will get a little message when the next video comes up. Um, I do unboxings, unbaggings, accessories, um, diamond painting pens, um, just different things at times that I think about. Um, I've actually got a notebook now and I've got quite a list of things that I want to cover. So uh, plenty more videos to come. So um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.